Hello, this is my uh, research development project for my fifth year in architecture. It's a follow-up on my um, thesis project, which is uh, mainly based around developing uh, alternative ways of growing fuel and also sorting um, the car storage problem of the future with the notion of uh, having less land and having to deal with storing an ever-growing increasing amount of cars. Um, the idea behind this monolithic structure is um, that it's based on a site which is disused in um, the, near the Isle of Sheppey called the Isle of Grain on a power plant region where it expels a lot of carbon dioxide. The idea is that you get these um, large structures which house the cars but also on the facade we, there's an opportunity to potentially grow um, biofuels through algae. Now this the research development project is mainly um, about how to actually make a working facade and uh, I'm going, what I wanted to attempt it is actually get um, the algae on the facade of the building all around the site to follow the course of the sun in other words it starts from east and goes west so we're going to start um, by building a prototype box of one of those windows to scale where um, the, the idea is that we're going to fill this up with algae water and control the ins and outs with um, with these solenoid valves, which will be um, receive, receiving the signal for the, from the Arduino, which has a, a light sensor on it. And depending on how we how much light it sees, that's how much it's going to pump into these. Um, we also need uh, relays in order to avoid, obviously, um, full current sort of blowout, and um, lots and lots of wiring, and obviously a circuit breaker just in case. Uh, the base of our model is quite simple. It follows on the uh, solar pattern of the site on the Isle of Grain. So you would get the, the steep sun um, circle during the summer and then the shallow one during the winter. Uh, by following this, people can interact with the model and try different times of the year. Uh, but what we need to do now is make the base. So now we have our base. Um, this is the basic acrylic formed base with a laser cutter um, which also complements the side the the solar pattern um, you get your east going to south facing going to west and the main idea is that you would shine the the torch from this way to this way which would emulate the sun hopefully what's going to happen is that with the um, solenoid valves from above which are going to be sitting here um, the water will be pumped to the box which will only need the water due to sunlight Right, so here we have the algae water. It's nice and green. Can't really see it. But once we turn on the pump, you should see it getting through there. Now the idea is to connect this to the solenoid and control whether it uh, when it basically expels water into the prototype. So here we go, ready for the first experiment. We have everything hooked up. The idea is that um, we're going to pump water into the tank there and we should see the water drip at the bottom when I turn on the tank and the um, solenoid at the same time. So here we go, um, we're going to turn on the tank, the water's going to start flowing and we should get some drippage. There you go. So now the idea is that during sunlight and during daytime these tanks will fill up with water obviously a bit faster than this but for now we have a fish tank pump and um, yeah they should stop whenever they see they don't see sunlight and empty out the top solenoid is set up we have our torch our sun which is gonna um, shine from there to there all the way around and hopefully should get the water pumping. Main principle is that these solenoids will be hooked up to the relays, onto the Arduino, onto the computer, which will tell it depending on which room I put it up in, because obviously this room is really well lit up, so we have to set the values for very high. And we have to hook up these where are they? These LEDs to the top of these boxes. And then get these uh, tubes connected to the manifold and start pumping some green water. Alright, so we're ready to go. We have our light source. 
which is again it which is hitting the uh, light dependent resistor which is hooked up to the Arduino so once I turn the power on theoretically we should get um, water flowing down there pumps just started and something does seem to be happening seems that something is stopping the water from passing in this area here it might just be that the pump doesn't have enough power but it's filling up nevertheless let's try to get that sorted all right well the problem is that the power isn't enough but it is sending signal and um, yeah, it's filling up. Okay, so now that we have um, one of these modules working, we've uh, also hooked it up to the bottom one where it's starting to empty it out at the same time now because it's stopped seeing water. Um, sorry, well, just stopped seeing light. So the one at the bottom will start emptying it. So the thing, the next step now is to um, start a grasshopper module and prepare this for the next step for more of a personal use for the exhibition to get people to interact with it and fill up each one of these individually with a larger pump at a more at a faster rate okay we're just going to try one more time now with the um, with the uh, lights so we're going to turn the light source on we should get a reaction and it's managed to, it's filling up much faster now so we should be able to get a much better result. There is some leaking going on, but that's treatable. Overall, this um, project has been pretty successful in the sense that we've managed to fill up one tank and try and proliferate that to the other five now. Um, work doesn't stop here as I'd like to enter this for the algae competition as far as um, different mechanics of how we can apply this to a real life building and that's where the thesis project steps in. Um, in addition, we also yeah, have the exhibition coming up next week, so I guess it could be um, an interesting feature. Of course, there are several health and safety issues which are easy to deal with at home, but perhaps in university it's, it's got some more things to deal with. But overall, I'm uh, pretty happy with the outcome. I'd just like to get some um, more grasshopper in this and perhaps hook it up to a, um, a live projector in order to see people how how people would change the times of day and times of year and actually see what would happen in order to enable them to actually interact and design their own almost facade by playing with a flashlight as the facade gives it ample space to do so thank you for watching